Alright, hello, and welcome back to another Warfork demo. So we're going to have Eldritch versus Apocrypha on WFDM6. These guys... Someone didn't tell me. Um, Eldritch is Nutter and Apocrypha is Notralon, if anybody uh, is from CPMA. That may help you understand what the hell's going on and why these guys are... Uh, flying around the map so fast. So this is going to be a good game. These are very good players. And a bit of confusion here from Nutter. I'm not going to grab the first item. Nice timing on the mega armor though. Going to completely miss that rail. And now start floating around the map, waiting for the next set of items to come up. Apocrypha just playing low, staying out the way. Wait, gets taken out. Nutter going to pick up that red armour. Apocrypha taken out right at the last moment. But Nutter quite low, doesn't want to push in too hard for a fight. Going to be staying out of the way. Trying to pick up the weapons that he needs to be able to take the next fight. With Mega Health going to be coming up in just a second, bumping into each other outside the teleporter. One of them needs to go for this Mega Health. Nutter goes for the Mega Armor, grabs it. Heads over. Spamming around with grenades, trying to keep everything going his way. And a nice little bit of damage for that. He's not going to hit too many of these because they are just complete luck shots. But when you don't know where your opponent is, spamming grenades is a brilliant way to find out where the hell they are. And also just do some general damage. I think he must have incorporated that into his loop. But Apocrypha picks up one kill. Eldritch, going to be coming around the back, going to be attacking. Pushes hard, pushes incredibly hard and manages to get the kill. Full setup here with at least rockets for Nutter. Just needs that lightning gun. Gets the LG. He's in a good position. There is a rail ammo. I did not know about that rail ammo up there. But that is an incredibly well placed rail ammo. An incredible bit of movement for Nutter to get to it. We're going to be flying over now. Someone could get that red. Red is now up. So is the Mega Health. Neither player particularly wants to go for it. Nutter getting low, but he's faking out his opponent. He's going for a little bit of style, a little bit of show. Needs to chase Apocrypha to whichever of the armors he goes for. Should get taken down here. He's only got 11 health left. But man, he just pick up those 50. Apocrypha, he's going to get this one. He's got both major items. He's going to take Nutter out. And he's in a very strong position to start fragging hard. Two to four the scoreline, Eldritch. Slightly off. But he's lost a bit of control here now. It's definitely... Definitely still a close game though. Both players pretty much got the same position in the game right now. And Apocrypha just slightly ahead in current on map standing. And just one frag behind now in the overall score. So Nutter is going through. He's picked up that red. Going to be pushing hard to try and take this next kill. If he can get the kill, then he knows that he can take a good bit, a good chunk of map control. But without getting the kill, you can't take quite as much map control. So Nutter, trying to get all the map control without taking the kill, but he knows if he can get the kill, he can easily take all the map control and start to play a bit more aggressively but a bit safer in his aggression he's playing hella aggressive right now anyway so not much is going to change 
There's the tie up though. Apocrypha picks it up. One second left. Eldritch flying over the top. Tries to get a bit of damage. Comes up behind and does a little bit, but doesn't seem to have too many weapons to have contested that one. You'd think Apocrypha going to be just sulking around the back of the map trying to figure out which item to go to next. The Mega Health's up. Neither player's realised it. Both going for this red. Apocrypha's got it. Going to have to get out. Watches as Eldritch comes out of there. Eldritch going for this Mega Health. Grabs it. Going to be taking a lot of damage to pay for it though. But Apocrypha can't finish off the kill. He's just got to wait there. There's no other way out other than just staying there. Seven seconds left. A bit early on that armour right there. Eldritch, he's moved out. Red armor control for Apocrypha. Eldritch has killed himself. Did not see that happen. Sometimes you do miss these things when you're watching the uh, other player and there's a suicide. Not quite sure when it happened. But now, with four minutes left to go, Apocrypha has a one frag lead and a good map advantage. He should be able to capitalize on the map advantage and take this now, but Eldritch has picked up that red, and that's going to be an important thing. Apocrypha waiting. Realises it's not going to come up to health now. Going to drop down. Kills himself by dropping off and hitting the ground. Tying the game up. Going to stay on Apocrypha for right now. If he can pick up this frag, he'll be back in the game. Doesn't. Eldritch picks it up. Four to three now. Going for, ah, going for that rail ammo, trying to get up there. You can definitely get up there, but it'd be a very, very difficult jump. Eldritch, one of the most skilled jumpers at that sort of thing. It's the sort of thing you might not do in a competition. But Interesting to be going there. He knows he's actually got the item, I think, is the main reason. He knows he's got that weapon he doesn't want to go for it picks up the mega health instantly loses it apocrypha tying it up two minutes 40 left on the game grabbing the armor running through gets a beautiful shot there but he's not done just yet there's quite a lot of health left i think he's not too low takes a direct rocket rocket launcher to electrobolt a beautiful shot and again, the ammo management in this game comes back into it. Very few main weapons, but pushing hard. That mega health is now up. I have a feeling Eldritch is going to be able to take that one if he realises that the health is up. He is going to be able to grab it, but not without being caught out by Apocrypha, but manages to get the kill. Five to six, two minutes left on the clock. Incredibly close game all the way this. Neither player has been more than two frags from the other one at any point in this game. And neither player has particularly had any massive map control. They've had red armour control, but the other players had the other armours. No one has completely stomped up the map. Now... Watching Eldritch just float around the map. Apocrypha playing a lot more carefully. Trying to avoid getting hit. It's an interesting way to play it. With a minute left and only one frag on the board. You don't want to be falling back so far. But not pushing in at the wrong moment. Is probably going to do him a lot better. And Eldritch kills himself. So now two frags. There's the first time we've been above two frag difference. Apocrypha, four to seven. He grabs the red army, comes through Eldritch up on the pipes at the top. It's a very vertical map that these guys are playing on. It's very difficult to sometimes see where you're going and the opponent's very movement heavy map. Gonna duck out of there, grab the armor. The red armor's up. But it is, it's a very well designed map, the map, highly vertical, but with all the items at the bottom forcing you down. Off the spawn, Apocrypha picks up that mega health, he just needs to duck and dive out of this, he needs to not get killed twice, 
Delay the spawn. Doesn't delay it. Sometimes it does happen. You don't delay the spawn because you click instantly as you're firing. One. Gonna just get out of that and takes it. A box for takes it over Eldritch. Seven to six.